Our mornings normally start with Ava waking up first. She's the one morning person in the family. My alarm clock is normally the sound of Ava turning on the TV. Once the sound of morning cartoons take me out of my dream state, I get out of bed, grab a short shower, and I try to wake myself up a little bit. And then if I've got time, I'll quickly do my hair. Otherwise, I'll put on a hat to disguise my bed hair, which is the real reason I wear hats so often. Once I'm ready for the day, I'll go and wake up Zoe, who loves a good sleep in just as much as I do. Right, time to get up, Zozo. Little Once both the girls are up, I'll start making breakfast, which is usually just cereal and toast. Ava's favorite thing is toast with just butter. The kids like to eat their breakfast in the living room and usually begin the day by watching Bluey, which is Zoe's favorite cartoon and a show that she can quote all day. And Ava, who's the morning person, normally keeps us entertained with jokes. What's your name? Dad. What's this? Nose. What am I holding? Everything. 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 <laughs> Once I've scoffed down my breakfast, I start making school lunch. Today we've got a jam sandwich, a banana, a fruit roll-up, an oat bar, one cookie, two juice boxes, a packet of Pringles, and a water bottle. Then we all brush our teeth, and then I get the girls dressed and do their hair. Ava dresses herself, but Zoe still likes a little bit of help. I usually go with easy to do hairstyles that don't take me too long, and then we're off to school and our day has begun. 15 minutes. We're just gonna make it. Just, you're gonna be just on time. We're not gonna be early, we're not gonna be late, we're gonna be pretty much exactly on time if this road works clears up a little bit. And we'll go when the storm is here. Yeah, we'll go before the storm, which hopefully won't start before I drop you off because I forgot to bring an umbrella for you. 10 minutes to nine. Holy. I just realized I was in such a rush getting Ava ready for school. I completely forgot to say hi to you guys. So good morning, guys. I'm just down at Bunnings. We're looking for some new light bulbs. So I've had a couple of light bulbs in my house ever since I've been there. They just flicker. They make it look like the house is haunted. It drives me nuts. I found out halogen lights shouldn't give me that problem. So I'm gonna get a halogen light and then I'm gonna try that out and hopefully it'll solve my problem. That's pretty cool. We'll have to be taking the trolley home. We're not taking the trolley home. But well, well, that's stuck in it. Because that's stuck in it. We're going to take the trolley home. Nice try, buddy. That was a good plan, but no, it's not going to no. work. No, that, that, that was a plan. <laughs> it wasn't a plan. It sounded like a plan to me. So what I've been doing is I've been allowing the kids to have one hour a day each on the iPad. So I go into screen time, I set a limit for an hour, one kid gets it, and then when that runs out, I set it to two hours, and then the other kid gets the other hour. And so far, so good, it's working. I held off having an iPad in the house for a really long time because I didn't want the kids to turn into screen junkies. And I would love to hear what do you guys do to manage iPads in your house? Do you set time limits? Do you let the kids just run free with them? What do you do? I'd love to hear some tips, tricks, advice, uh, opinions. Let me know. Comment below. I'm probably opening myself up to ridicule with this one, but let's keep it real. Let's have this discussion in the comments below. So while Zoe is distracted with her iPad, I'm gonna get my morning meditation in. Whoa, that uh, went super bright. Yeah, I'm gonna get my morning meditation in. This is something that I've been trying to do every single morning. Uh, I'm not very good at meditation. I get really easily distracted. My thoughts constantly go elsewhere when I'm meditating, but I'm determined 
to get good at it. I'm trying to be more mindful. I'm trying to be more present. I'm trying to just focus on myself this year because these past couple of years, I've put all my time, money, energy, everything into being the best dad that I can be. And while I think it's very important to put that sort of energy into being a parent, it's also important to put energy into yourself. So I'm really trying to rediscover myself find my own identity as Jamie again and you know doing things like this really helps so this month I've set the goal to meditate every single morning I'm working out a lot I'm trying to find new hobbies I'm being more social again which is good at the moment I'm doing five minute guided meditations every morning but today I'm actually upping it to 10 minutes if you guys have any any tips with meditation feel free to to comment below and if you've never tried it I challenge you as well today try a five minute guided meditation and let me know how you liked it Oh, these ones? No. These ones? Whenever I get you these bottles, you never drink them when I get those bottles. I'm not getting them. You never drink them. You like these ones, right? Okay, we'll get those because I know you'll drink them. I'll get another packet as well. Uh, you want to put it in? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Don't throw it. I said put it, not throw it. He wants to try cranberry juice. Did you like it? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. We are listening to this song literally 20 times a day. So as I said earlier in the video, this year is all about focusing on me much more than I was before and I'm doing a lot of things to improve my life. One thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to get back the weight that I lost. You guys have noticed, I hear it in the comments all the time. I hate hearing it in the comments by the way guys. Over the last two years I've lost a lot of weight due to stress. At one point I was down 15 kilos but I'm slowly getting it back and one of the ways that I'm doing that is through meal prepping. So yesterday I cooked up a whole bunch of pasta with pesto and chicken. I got a bunch of these in the fridge. Today I'm gonna to be cooking chicken, broccoli, sweet potato. I'm gonna be cooking up some rice. I'm gonna be marinating it with Nando sauce. And then I'm just gonna be having these meals over the next couple of days, just rotating them. Um, I was ordering from some meal prep services for a while, but I was finding it was a, getting expensive, B, the food didn't taste as fresh as when I do it myself at home, and C, the portion sizes were tiny. Their portions are literally half of one of these. I'm finding doing this is actually helping. These are just some of the little things that I'm doing to, you know, focus on me this year. I'ma take what I'm giving, but let me show you how it goes. In the 80s. How did they make rice in the 80s? Mm -hmm. I think they just used a pot. That peri peri chicken is so good. Now I've got to clean up quickly and then go pick up Ava from school. So you can't see the stars during the day, aside from the sun. Did you know the sun is actually a star? Yeah. Okay. You know everything. There are nothing left to teach you. <laughs> All my facts are done. That was my last one. I'm, I'm teaching me. Ava taught you that. Ava told you that the sun is a star. Oh, 
I might as well just retire from being a dad. Ava's got it for me. You got it all covered. Sure, I have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? I, I said, Where did you get the word baby from? Where did you even learn this? <laughs> Who taught I you that? Baby. I big baby. Oh, I'm gonna get the <laughs> Where do you learn this stuff? Where do you pick it up from? I can't believe we have the park all to ourselves. This park is normally packed. We just came here and it is completely empty. Magic, fairy magic to open this. Look, I can see a window there. You can? Yeah. Oh, there's a little window on the tree. Oh, and look at the top, that's so cool. There's a chimney and another window. Oh, I think that window here. Yeah, do you see the chimney up the top? Yeah. That's so cool. If you can pull it out of the stone, you will be queen. the park to myself for like 20 minutes and now it started raining so time to go home I guess where'd your sister go ah I can hear her I think she's coming down here oh no I thought you were coming down the slide I went down the pole you went down the fireman pole all right let's get to the car before we get drenched where are you the kids are calling me from the iPad. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you in my room? Huh? Are you in my room? No. I think you're lying. <laughs> it's definitely under my covers. So what else have I got to update you guys on? Uh, I have been trying to figure out how I can go back into my old field of work, which is cinematography, being behind the camera as opposed to in front of it, while living where I do, also while being as present a dad as I wanna be. So I've been trying to figure that out. I have picked up a few jobs here and there. I actually took the kids to work with me the other day, which I thought was gonna be an absolute nightmare, but you guys were really well behaved. They just chilled in the other room. I did let them bring the iPad, which kind of was a lifesaver. And they did come through and watch what was going on for a little bit, but it was actually way less stressful than I anticipated. I was more stressed leading up to it, thinking of all the what ifs than when it actually came, because they were absolute angels throughout it all. Honestly, I'm ready for bed, guys. I have successfully worn out one two of my kids. Honestly, I didn't know what to call today's video and then I kind of realized that it was a real life morning routine so I decided to go with that. It wasn't really a, a planned thing and I feel like most of the people on YouTube who do these morning routine videos, it's all cap. It's always stuff that's a little bit extra from what they really do. But I decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. This is our real, morning routine on a school day this is what it's like every morning there's no 
fancy schmancy stuff that we do. It's just regular life. Sorry, I'm, I'm really puffed out from that little workout that I just did with Zoe. If you made it this far in the vlog, I really would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up, if you subscribe, if you share the video with a friend, because I really would love to see this channel grow again. It does suck every time I look at the, the, the channel, the subscribers, everything just, just goes down and if you guys do these little things to help out, like just hit a, hit a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that stuff, it really does help. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Look at Siri's scary thing on the vlog. What scary thing? Oh, okay. Ava wanted me to show you guys something. This came up to me and what did you say? You said it's a, it's a nice rainy day and you shouldn't go into your room. Why shouldn't I go into my room? Because your door opened again. Because what? Because your door opened again. My door opened again. Wouldn't that mean that I should go into my room to see what's no, going on? No, no, no. My sister's in there. Your sister's in there? Why is she in my room? <laughs> because she needs to go to Yeah, yeah. She's in my room because she needs to go to Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I should probably go and see what no, my sister's no, up no, to. No, 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 no. No. No? Yeah, no. <laughs> she, she needs her fires. She needs her fires. <laughs> so, uh, Let me know, uh, do you guys think something shifty is going on or not? Something shifty going on? No, no. What's going on? Oh! She made my bed for me. Where is she? Where is she? That was really nice though. I think I know where he is. You're behind all my clothes? Oh, my 